Hey everyone, thanks for stopping by my channel again. Today I wanted to do a little video about my new um, strap that I'm using with my Neo Noe um, and my um, delightful GM in the old model, um, the one with the zippers. So I'll show you that in just a minute. This is the Bandelier monogram strap and it is, I think it's called the Rose Poudre. I'm probably butchering that. I speak three languages, but French is not one of them, so I apologize. Um, but the inside is the light pink, and it goes with my Neo Noé. So first, let me show you some up-close details. Hold on. So first on the um, metal here on the clasps, you have the LV on both sides. Same thing on the other end, of course. Then you've got this little strap here that's holding it on. And you've got the monogram. Now, during this, I'm going to be telling you my pros and cons. I'm not going to do, you know, I, I end up just chit-chatting and I end up saying a little bit of this and a little bit of that. So during this video, uh, there will be various times where I'm telling you pros and cons um, about this. I love this. I'm absolutely keeping it. I'm hoping to get a black interior and a hot pink interior eventually. But these are really expensive, as you know. So... I, um, right now I'm, I'm using this one for everything. Um, anyway, here we go. So <laughs> the pros are it's gorgeous. Number one, um, number two, super comfortable because it's so wide. Um, it distributes the weight nicely. And I have, as you can see, bony, um, collarbones, shoulders, whatever. So you know, I, those skinny straps just don't work for me, um, for heavy bags, excuse me. So, um, let me show you a few more things about this and then I'll show you on the bags and what they look like on and stuff. So here is the stamping on the inside. It's really hard to get it to focus. I'm sorry. And it says Louis Vuitton Paris made in Spain. And then on this side is the date code. Boy, I hope I show it to you properly. Here we go. It's really hard to see. But that's the date code, like, imprinted into the leather. So um, the width of it obviously makes it really comfortable. The fact that there's leather on this side makes it super comfortable. And it's really, you can see, really flexible and squishy and just wonderful. Um, I love that. Um, one of the things that irritates me about this, and again, I don't mean to be negative, but I figure if you're looking to buy this, you should hear the pros and the cons, at least from my point of view, and then you can watch other videos and see what they think. But um, it bothers me that in the last, okay, that's centered pretty well. Not perfect, but pretty well. That one's pretty, really good, actually. This one is way off. I mean, Louis Vuitton is charging $495 for a strap and they couldn't get it together enough to make that a centered flower or whatever it's called. Um, that bothers me. That one's fine. But if you think I'm going to send it back and get another and check it and send it back and get another or go into the store and deal with all that, forget it. It's good enough. Um, this is pretty well centered um, because the LV, you know, sticks out, sticks out, sticks out. I think maybe they did this on purpose where there's uh, a little more flower showing on this side than this side, just a smidge. Um, but this is centered. So this just is fine with me. Um, but as you know, in the last, I don't know, five or 10 years, I'm not sure if the exact date, but the quality um, control has just gone down. And I love Louis Vuitton, I'm not putting it down, but that bothers me. We're spending a ridiculous amount of money on these things and we know that they're gorgeous, we love the name brand, we love uh, the monogram or we love the quality and, the, and the, the craftsmanship and we love the story behind it and the history of Louis Vuitton and blah, 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 blah. So we buy it for many, many reasons, so we know that something that is mostly canvas or half canvas, half leather, um, 
we're overpaying a bit anyway because it's Louis Vuitton. But then when things are not centered, that drives me crazy. Because at the very least, because a lot of the stuff is canvas, at the very least, you should have things, you know, matching up. So one of the ways that I wear this, and the, the main reason I bought this was to, um, sorry, I'm doing this on the floor, um, was to get me to wear this bag more. Because as much as I love the Neo Noé, and I really, really do, it um, was just sitting in my closet for months and months. Um, because, and I'll tell you, first of all, I wasn't wearing it because this strap, when you turn it into a crossbody strap, is really, it digs in, in my experience. So that was one of the reasons, but I'll show you that in a minute. So I love, 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 love the way this looks. I just think it really makes it a much more special bag, um, a little, just a little fancier, a little more uh, luxurious, I guess, because you're continuing the the monogram. I just really, really love it. And some people I know um, spin it around and wear it like this. If you really want that pop of color, you can do that. Um, I don't know what's going to happen as far as color transfer. I'm a little worried about that. Um, that could be a con with having the pink on the inside. But um, that's really pretty, actually. But I just really love having that extra monogram just continuing. Um, and I leave this on. I know a lot of people take it off. I leave it on as an extra pop of color, as a, um, a little decoration, you know. Um, and then I also wear it like this on my shoulder and just have that monogram strap just hanging there. So that when I'm out running around with the kids, um, you know, or doing errands or shopping or whatever I might be doing, you know, I want that option. I mean, it's easy to throw this on your shoulder and go, but after a while, it either gets heavy or you really want to be, excuse me, hands-free. And this can slip a little bit. Not too much, I'm not complaining, but it can slip a little bit. So instead of worrying about it slipping, I just um, like to wear it crossbody. Now, the problem with wearing it crossbody with this, and I'm going to show you, what you do is, and I'm sorry you can't see this up close, but you unsnap the sides, right? And then it just slides up like that and then the snaps are now here and you snap them together hold on and you wear that crossbody now the problem with it is two things for me I'm 5'2 and a hundred and none of your business pounds <laughs> and uh, you know I'm kind of too short I think to wear it this way I mean it's not horrible I mean, I would wear it this way if I just needed to be hands-free and I was like, whatever. But style-wise, I think it's a little longer than it should be. But again, no big deal. Um, the other thing is it cuts into me so badly because, again, I've got these, like, bony um, <laughs> shoulders and um, collarbone and stuff. And so it really cuts into me. This is a thin sweater. If you're wearing a thin sweater or wearing a um, tank top or something, this is... It's just not a good idea because it's already cutting into me. I've been doing it for, what, 15 seconds or something? Um, so for me, it's not an option unless I'm wearing, like, a jacket or something like that. So, um, yeah. So that's one of the reasons I hadn't been wearing this bag because I knew that if I needed to go crossbody, it was going to irritate me. It was going to hurt me. So I ended up having a strap made on M Craft Leather on Etsy. Um, and I love their straps. Don't get me wrong. I get them done all the time. They're wonderful. They they use the and I'll show you one in a minute. But they use like the same type of clasps. They use the same type of vaquetta or the same type of like coated um, brown leather that would go with this or would go with like a um, Demira Ben bag. So don't get me wrong. What they do is amazing. But the plain brown strap just wasn't doing it for me. I just I don't know. It didn't excite me. Um, and so I just decided to take the plunge and get this and I have to be honest with you I haven't worn this bag in months and months because it wasn't convenient because I couldn't do it crossbody when I needed to and it you know even though it's a lightweight bag it really weighs nothing it's like wait it's like paper paperweight um, it's not a paperweight it's the weight of paper you know what I'm trying to say um, it's super light um, once you fill it up with stuff you know you've got this thin strap 
and it starts cutting a little bit and then forget it with the with these um, metal snaps, right? So it just was inconvenient and I would just stare at it in my closet like, oh, it's so pretty. You know, I just loved it. It was so, so pretty, but it wasn't super convenient. So now with the strap, it's made it super convenient. And I also wear it with my um, Delightful GM, as I said, let me grab that. Now, right now what I've been using, which I'll still probably use most of the time, to be honest, is this strap that I had made by M Craft Leather on Etsy. As you see, the same type of, you know, um, hardware and the same type of Viketa that already has gotten the same, um, um, what do you call it? I don't know why I can't talk today. It's gotten the same patina um, from use and from being in the sun. So I do use this, and I really like the continuation of the Viketa because there's so much Viketa on this bag. Um, so I do like the tortilla shape here <laughs> and I use this, but then when I got this new strap, I thought, oh, that'll be really cute. So I would take off this Viketa strap and I'd put on this monogram strap, even though honestly for this bag, if I had a choice, I would use it with the black, um, interior, you know, the black leather lining for this bag because I'd like it better. Um, but, like I said, these straps are super expensive, so I'm gonna use what I have with as many bags as possible right now. So this is how it would look. And of course, this bag is not meant to be crossbody, but it's great to have options. I just, I always love to have options. You never know when you're just gonna need to be hands-free, and I mean, this is just great because it's such a big bag and it can get so heavy. So to have that option is great. Um, and then you can just have it hanging on the front. And again, the pink was not my first uh, choice for this bag, but it's what I have right now and it works. So I really enjoy it. You can also just put it in the back and just have it there. So I really, really love this strap. Um, I think the fact that it literally saved this bag for me because I was thinking of selling it because as much as I absolutely love it and wanted to wear it all the time, I wasn't wearing it. I just would not reach for it, you know? So let me tell you a little bit more about my worries about this strap. Um, I, do, I do want to eventually get the black and maybe the hot pink. Um, but definitely the one with the black inside. But my worry is this. I wish that they had continued the leather inside here. Now, it would have made it bulkier. I understand. But that would have made it stronger. That would have made me feel a little bit better about it. Because if you bend this and sew it, it's much stronger than just the canvas. Do you know what I mean? Bending just the canvas and sewing it, to me, it makes me worry that it could crack, that it might not be able to take the pressure of carrying my bag when it's full, when it's really heavy. So I'm a little nervous about that. Um, that's pretty much, I guess that's pretty much the con for me is the fact that I'm afraid of what's gonna happen with this little piece and how long it's gonna last. And if Louis Vuitton's gonna tell me to go fly a kite when, when something goes wrong with this, that worries me. That and the fact that it's insanely expensive <laughs> drives me crazy. Um, but anyhow, oh, one other thing about what I was saying about the quality control. Again, love, 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 but and I've done a video about this. This side, I think, yeah, that's my good side, my bag's good side. The, um, the sides don't match up too wonderfully. This is not bad, actually. But see that bottom one? And now look at this side. This is the bag's bad side. Somebody tell me, please, if I'm not mistaken, they're selling this bag. I got mine pre-loved, so I was lucky. 
But if I'm not mistaken, this went up from like 13 or 1400 to like 15 or 16. I mean, it, I think with tax, it's at 16 now. I'm not positive, check the website, but it went up recently to a ridiculous amount. Are you kidding me? This is a canvas bag, some leather pieces, inside is microfiber, not suede, mostly canvas bag. And you couldn't get it together enough to make the sides match. Because one of the things people look for when they're looking at pre-loved items is do the uh, designs match? Is it centered, right? Ooh, it could be a fake. The thing is, it's not the case anymore. Now the real stuff, the brand new stuff that people are getting right out of the store, it doesn't match up. So that's a con on everything. Anyhow, absolutely love this. Going to keep you informed about the uh, wear and tear and my experience with it. But as of right now, it literally saved this bag from being sold because it's now a go-to piece for me because I have that option and it looks so special and so beautiful with this strap. So thanks for watching. Um, I hope it was informative. I hope it helped you. Please like and subscribe and I hope to see you back here again soon. Bye.